I think it was a tale of two halves for us. Offensively, we weren't clicking. Uh, they were blitzing uh, different gaps. They were um, disguising some of their uh, stuff up front. We were, we were confused. We missed a lot of guys came in untouched. We, uh, again, we were having terrible success on first down. Uh, but we made some adjustments and we were able to fix those things and uh, started to move the ball much better in the second half. Defensively, um, we knew what Winthrop's all about. They run this offense and they don't care if you stop them 10 times in a row as long as they beat you on the 11th play. And you saw that today. They, they have big plays. If, if you don't have everybody on the same page defensively and understanding what their responsibility is, it just takes one play. We had them fourth and what 15 25 yeah. Yeah. some outrageous thing after two great defensive plays on first and second down they hit the belly we don't account for it the kid goes 90 whatever six yards for a touchdown the pass play a blown coverage that we've covered a hundred times in practice that's what they do they run they run their offense very very crisply if you stop them it's because you're disciplined and then all of a sudden the one time one player is disciplined they gash you for a big play and we saw that happen twice. The first time they found the end zone, the second time Eli Batista made the great effort to stop that from scoring. We got the break on the fumble and eliminated that, you know, that big play. Uh, but for us overall offensively, staying with the program, staying with what we've been coached to do, execution, 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 much better in the second half, able to put points on the board, move the ball, and get first downs. You talk about uh, Eli's. Um, you just mentioned it, that great uh, you know, hustle to get back and uh, make the stop on the two-yard line. You just talk about just like it's hustle on like you know, both sides of the ball, but especially that play. Well, he has the heart and soul of our team. I mean, offensively, defensively, on special teams, he's just an electric player, and he's been doing it for four years. People, it just seems like people are just now starting to recognize it. It hasn't been a secret. He's a great player. He wants the ball in big situations. He comes back almost every play telling us he can beat his man, and then he goes out and he proves it. When you give him the shot, he proves it. Um, you know, defensively, um, you know, the fact that he ran down that play doesn't surprise me. He has no quit in him, and our team follows his lead. Alex Silva, the first half a little hesitant running the ball, second half hitting the hole hard, running like a power runner that Alex Silva is. And I think that play that pays a, plays a little bit a part in the way our attitude is as a team. They see Alex running hard, they see Eli giving everything they got. That just that just causes a wave on our team of positivity. And when we're down, those two guys always seem to bring us back up. Coach, you were concerned about your offense, but you were were you pleased with it in the second half? Is that your point? Yeah. Well, the second half execution I was pleased with. The first half, we, we, we weren't communicating up front. Number 50 was causing us headaches, blitzing the A-gap, coming off the edge, coming to the weak side A-gap, and we just weren't communicating enough. Uh, I thought Mark Clanton came in and played center in the second half, a little bit of a bigger, heavier body that helped us control the A-gap a little bit better than the, you know, the younger, quicker. Um, Jackson O'Brien, I think that may have played a little bit of difference because we didn't necessarily have to double team every time. Mark would handle one-on-one, -on -one. that opened up our guards to you know pick up blitzes a little bit easier. What did you do to contain Capuccio? He had three touchdowns last week and he's been tremendous for Winthrop. Number 20. We knew all about number 20. Okay. <laughs> we knew all about Capuccio. We watched him on film. We practiced against him uh, you know, for the three days that we had. We know he's, the, he's their Eli Batista. He's their playmaker. And, and you know the goal was to contain him. You know, we weren't sure we would be able to stop him, but just contain him and keep him to three or four yards to carry and keep him from having the big play. And as it turned out, we were able to do that. And Mr. Rich, on the other hand, he got his big play. And we knew number four was a good running back, too. And that we, you know, we had a handful with those two uh, swapping out carries. I mean, Eli's got touchdowns, interceptions, but was his biggest play the rundown? I mean, to, to take that touchdown?